Ancient Uparts A section of ancient history which many find as their preference, it is undeniably one of the strongest areas of argument within the study of antiquities which is in support of the past existence of once highly capable, incredibly technologically advanced, yet now lost ancient civilizations. The ancient astronaut theory being one main topic of interest within the Uparts realm. When it comes to certain current or now past allies, in alliance with our so often reiterated posit of the existence and the volumes of surviving evidence in support of a now lost, often also claimed, now actively hidden, enormous number of chapters of human history. It is thanks to their laborious collaborative efforts which has allowed us to accomplish such a strong and compelling evidence. In addition, the realization that much of these sites and anomalous features also display a strong evidential suggestion that many of these civilizations somehow succumbed suddenly, possibly to a past cataclysm. However, if this vast and still growing file of evidence, all suggesting sudden demise, is, in the future, somehow found to have been an undeniable reality, possibly a repeated event, a question arises. Who could these claimed ancient astronauts possibly have been? The evidence suggesting sudden halts in undertaking within countless elaborately created by clearly highly resourced people, megalithic quarries, which were inexplicably abandoned, litter our planet. This may suggest that these uparts are either of returning, unfortunate witnesses to this cataclysm, somehow returning many generations later, successfully making contact with a civilization raised from the ashes of their now forgotten world. Somehow surviving all this time in an ancient spacecraft, possibly better, possibly similar to our own modern space stations, absent long enough to be depicted by a people presumably astonished by their existence. Secondly, they could quite possibly depict ancient alien visitors to our planet, either once deliberately making contact or once crashing here, forcing these entities to make contact, thus witnessed. Yet, if true, their likeness to Earthlings is a controversial consequence to said history or are all somehow a mere coincidence. One or two hoaxes, we feel, is a real reality. But for all these magnificent, enigmatic, and often clear depictions of similarly looking individuals, all being hoaxes? Yet so far separated geographically, we find unlikely. One must keep this in mind when studying such artifacts, such as the Istanbul rocket. The claimed ancient space module, which became one of the most popular artifacts of the Istanbul Archaeological Museum. Sought after by Western scientists and media alike, poured over and written about in hundreds of articles across Europe. Even featuring on television programs and within many newspaper articles. However, what is fascinating about this reality, that for many years, many specialists, often talented people, also just as often funded to presumably determine an inaccuracy in the object's claimed age, did not. Not until a few years ago, that is. In the last few years, it has been that the Istanbul rocket was apparently found to have been a hoax. A plaster cast made some 25 years ago. A puzzling claim when one remembers that just five years after, the space module was sought after by German and English among many other national archaeologists, and was, for a long time, secured in the preservation unit of the museum. Was this really a plaster cast, a mere five years old when this discovery was announced, successfully fooling the world's scientific communities? Or was it like so many other artifacts we study, successfully stolen, then replaced with a clear fake? We will leave that up to you to decide from the evidence available. But. An argument for found crash craft can also be seen in the inspiration for the creation of things, like that of the lid of Pakal's tomb. An enigmatic depiction of this same form of technology, again, turns up all over South America, and even further afield. The Kiev spaceman, yet another found far away in the remote, desolate landscapes of Ukraine. Clearly, a depiction of a gas-breathing humanoid-shaped being 
depicted with seemingly no injuries, yet the reason for said depiction is an ongoing debate, yet due to its clear characteristics, a welcome member of this long list of ancient Uparts. Ancient astronauts? Or merely an extremely elaborate, highly complex, hard-worked, long-lived hoax? We find the evidence to support the theory highly compelling. Although many of our viewers express a belief that all ancient ruins were constructed by our ancestors with methods learned over eons of trial and error, some also devoutly attest to them eventually succumbing to a biblically documented deluge. The fact remains, at this current time in history, we cannot prove this beyond doubt. As a collaboration who actively researches and seeks out these specific ruins in question, we have come into contact with considerable evidence to support many of these ruins having once been submerged, either by fresh or, more often than not, an ancient sea. However, due to their possible extraordinary antiquity, these subversive experiences may have been merely due to climactic changes rather than divine intervention. There is also growing hostility towards the once popularly touted proposition of ancient aliens, or perhaps ancient astronauts. Many governmental bodies have supposedly come clean over recent years regarding alien disclosure, releasing a number of apparent smoking guns to the public, often videos which included military testimonies regarding said encounters. Is it therefore such an absurdity to merely postulate that, based on currently presented information, that an alien civilization, clearly far more advanced than us, is currently observing our planet and species? Perhaps we once knew these beings, before something clearly happened within our past, something which made us forget a considerable amount of our own history. Many of the ancient structures found upon our planet defy belief or explanation. Is it so unforgivable to ponder whether our ancestors received an intellectual nudge at some point within antiquity? There are also many ancient tribes whose ancestral accounts often include some sort of visitation, with some, like the Dogans, celebrating the processions of the Sirius star system processions we didn't confirm as accurate until earlier this century. And the Scythians could be seen as the most valuable of these tribes, mainly due to a mysterious idol, once found frozen within one of their ancient tombs, sunk deep into permafrost among the Altai mountains of Serbia. It is known as the Scythian Spaceman, and for good reason, it must be remembered when looking upon such objects with eyes from a modern world that the clothing this idol wears is far removed from the tribe in which created it. It is not only unusual, but eerily reminiscent of our own modern spacesuits. What's more, and perhaps the most damning evidence, is his space helmet, a device that would have been crucial for communication with a being from an entirely different atmosphere. What was the Scythian spaceman? What does it represent? Did the Eurasian nomads actually encounter an ancient astronaut? We find the existence of such artifacts highly compelling. Many people assume that ancient astronaut theories are nothing more than modern pseudoscience, holding no credence within reality. However, this is a mistake. The idea of ancient visitors from other planets in distant galaxies has been around since the beginning of human history. Although the theory has undoubtedly gained tremendous popularity over the past few decades, nearly every ancient tribe and civilization found on Earth, regardless of geographical location, have a story regarding visitors from other planets. Our choice of the most compelling would have to be that of the Dogons in Africa, one of the oldest surviving tribes on Earth. They not only have a legend which tells of alien visitors, but they retained invaluable data reliable knowledge which was passed down from generation to generation, details surrounding their ancient visitors' home solar system, details that at the time modern civilization had yet to discover. Known as the Nomo, the Dogon tell of giant reptilians 
who had traveled here from a small sister star of Sirius, a star with a 40-year orbit that the Dogons still celebrate every 40 years. What is remarkable about their claims, however, is the details they give regarding the Sirius system and indeed the Nomos home star, a tiny star which our modern telescopes did not confirm the existence of until several years after the first cataloguing of this information. Another strange reaction to these remarkable experiences within these ancient cultures is a wanting to replicate the appearance of these entities. These interplanetary visitors often brought gifts in the form of knowledge. Due to these revelations, many of our ancestors have perceived these beings as godlike. The teaching of agriculture, the gift of hops, cannabis, the Dogon state that hemp was a gift from the Nomo. Indeed, the dog star is the source of the plant's name. Even strawberries, among many other living things, and ingenious techniques of managing such, have been said throughout antiquity, indeed throughout the world's cultures, to have first arrived here on Earth in the form of gifts from these beings. The dogu, dogu meaning clay figure, could be seen as commemorative creations in memory of such entities visiting our planet in the past. Made during the late Jomon period, over 10,000 years ago, made with such tremendous skill and artistic accuracy, you have to wonder if these were not created with the purpose of remembering a detailed image of our guests' appearances, then what else were they created for? Or more specifically, to look like? Interestingly, some of the figures appear to have been deliberately created missing limbs, resting on intricately made crutches. Was this done with a likeness to real beings, possibly battle-scarred from previous more hostile encounters? The Incas, Mayans, Aztecs, Dogons, indeed anywhere you look within antiquity, you will inevitably be confronted with fantastic tales of ancient visitors. Even detailed knowledge of things so far out, we cannot even confirm if what they say is true. With so many similar legends found all across the world regarding ancient astronauts, it's safe to say the truth is out there. In 1938, an expedition was conducted, led by Dr. Kai Putei, an archaeologist with the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing, into the Bay and Carola Mountains of China, looking for evidence of ancient civilizations. He was trying to find shelter in the Kunlun Ket mountain chain, when a team member entered a cave and found strange inscriptions on the walls. At the back of the cave they found several tombs, aligned in a row, containing strange looking skeletons, each measuring 1 meter 20 centimeters in length and having an abnormally large skull. Buried with the skeletons over 700 stone discs were discovered. Not knowing what they were, the team collected the stone discs up and took them back for study. The discs are around one foot in diameter, with two spiral grooves moving out from a center hole. They ended up in storage for over 20 years, before Tsu Mumwi found out about the discs, and was given the permission to study them further. This is when something amazing is discovered to be contained on the stone discs, an amazing story which would cost Tsu his reputation, and ultimately his life. The Chinese Academy of Sciences tried to ban the publication of these findings, but eventually the story of the Dropper tribe and their stone discs was released. What he discovered were tiny hieroglyphs etched into the grooves upon the discs, the hieroglyphs tell an amazing story. By 1962, Tsum had successfully deciphered the writings, stating that they told the story of a spaceship crashing on the mountains some 12,000 years ago, the ship contained the Dropper people, who were unable to fix the craft. Stranded on Earth with no hope of returning home, this story tells of their short lives here, they explain how most are killed by the local human population, in the end the last remaining members die in the cave. Russian researchers requested the discs for study, and allegedly several were shipped to Moscow. Once there, it is said that they were scraped for loose particles and put through a chemical analysis which revealed that they contained large amounts of cobalt and other metallic substances. As recorded in the Soviet magazine Sputnik, Dr. Vyacheslav Seyazev describes an experiment where the discs were supposedly placed on a special turntable, whereby they were shown to vibrate or hum in an unusual rhythm, as though an electric charge is passing through them. However, fast forward to present day and no evidence survives of the discs, nor Tsum himself, nor the ridicule he received which cost him his life. It appears as though the discs have been skillfully transformed into an apparent hoax. 
Bay and Kerala remains one of China's most remote regions, its mountains reach as high as 5,000 meters, a new expedition is being prepared to this remote place, largely funded by Chinese media companies, I will keep you posted on what they discover.